Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about three different types of mammals. Mammals are a group of organisms that have the following characteristics. They are vertebrates, which means they have a backbone. They are endothermic, which some people call warm-blooded, which means they can regulate their temperature. They have hair on their bodies, and they produce milk to feed their babies. This allows them to spend more time with their young and to help raise their young. They can also be grouped on how they produce offspring. In this video I'd like to look at the monotremes, the marsupials, and placental mammals. Monotremes are a small group of mammals and include only three types of animals. Two types of spiny anteaters and the duck-billed platypus. What makes these mammals unique is that they all lay eggs. Spiny anteaters look a bit like a pin cushion with a long nose. They have sharp spines scattered throughout their brown hair. And as their name implies, they like to eat ants. A female spiny anteater lays one to three leathery eggs into a pouch on her belly. After the young hatch, they drink milk that seeps out of pores on the mother's skin. Yes, a little strange. They stay in the pouch until they are six to eight weeks old, and then the mother scratches them out of her pouch. The duck-billed platypus has web feet, a strange bill, fur, and feeds its young with milk. They live in water and they construct a maze of tunnels in the banks. The female lays her eggs in an underground nest and then the eggs hatch about two weeks later. After the hatch, the tiny offspring feed by lapping at the milk that oozes out of the fur of the mother. Yes, again, a little strange. So there you have the monotremes, which are mammals that lay eggs. Marsupials are mammals whose young are born alive, but at an early stage of development. And they continue to develop in a pouch on their mother's body. Take a look at this kangaroo's pouch. Marsupials have a very short gestation period, which is the length of time between fertilization and birth. Possums, for example, have a gestation period of only about 13 days. Newborn marsupials are tiny. They are born blind, hairless, and pink. They crawl along the fur of their mother's belly until they reach her pouch. Once inside, they will drink milk from their mother. Take a look at these baby possums inside the pouch of their mother. They've been in there for a little bit, so they aren't newly born, but you will notice they're still very small. Some common examples of marsupials are kangaroos, possums, the Tasmanian devil, this strange little animal called a sugar glider, and koalas. There we have the marsupials, Mammals that have a tiny little offspring that grow mammals out. are mammals that develop their offspring inside the female. The name of this group comes from the placenta, which is an organ in pregnant female mammals that passes materials from the mother and the developing embryo. Food and oxygen pass from the mother to her young through the placenta. Water passes from the young through the placenta to the mother where it can be eliminated. The umbilical cord connects the young to the placenta. Placental mammals are classified into groups on the basis of characteristics such as how they eat and how their bodies are adapted for moving. For example, whales, dolphins, and porpoises all form a group of mammals that have adaptations for swimming. The mammals in the carnivore group, which include 
cats, otters, and maybe seals are all predators that have enlarged canine teeth. Primates, which include monkeys, apes, and humans, all have large brains and eyes that face forward. In addition, some primates have four limbs that have adaptations for grasping. Placental mammals vary in the length of their gestation period, which is the time it takes for the developing young inside to fully develop. Generally, the larger the placental mammal, the longer its gestation period. For example, African elements, elephants, are the largest land-dwelling placental mammals. Their gestation period averages about 21 months. A house mat mouse, on the other hand, gives birth after a gestation period of only 20 days. So there we go, placental mammals, mammals that develop their young inside the female's body using the placenta. Thanks for watching and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.